So in our last Brainwaves video, we have taken a look at these ear pads. These were the PU Leather Oval ear pads. They come in a couple different color variants, and they are pretty awesome. You can watch the video, I'll leave a link for it over there in the description below. Simply put it that these ear pads are a must have if you're an owner of a HyperX Cloud 1, 2, Core, and maybe an Alpha depending on how your experience goes, because the Alpha ones, they're a bit better than the Cloud 2 headphone ear pads. That said, they are memory foam and they do have some very nice clean stitching. Now of course these are a gaming pair of headphones and having these things will actually improve your experience, especially in FPS games because the more room you have in there, you'll have a better sound stage and everything will sound much better. At the same time, you'll have a bit more breathing room inside these ear pads. And the main reason I actually put down these headphones originally was because the ear pads were too thin. I was using the velour ones because they were thicker, but now with these ear pads, you have a very nice thick layer and even if you press really hard onto your headphones, it will be really hard to touch the bottom of the headphones. And thus, you have a very comfortable pair of headphones. So if you were to take a look at these, again, they come in different colors. But then Brainwaves caught in touch again, and they wanted me to review some more of their ear pads. And uh, here they are. They have a couple more variants, and they actually have recently uh, released a couple more, which is pretty awesome. These are the full velour ear pads. They're velour all around, and you can see that they are inside and out, very similar to the other ones over there but they're made out of velour on the outside instead of leather. Now I do definitely love me some nice velour ear pads, and that all started with my HD598 headphones. Since they are open back, they allow for a whole lot of soundstage and breathing room. That's when I started really enjoying velour ear pads, and that's where it all started. But this time you can see with the ear pads that I'm using for these two headphones I'm gonna be showing you, I actually prefer to have the leather for some reason, and that's mostly because there's so much breathing room inside the leather ones that I don't have to go back and get the velour. But again, it is all subjective. It all depends on what kind of pair of headphones you have and what kind of sound you're looking for and how comfortable you are with the type of ear pads they have. Now, if you're someone who enjoys themselves some nice velour ear pads, but also wants a sound profile of leather, then you can get the hybrid ear pads. They are literally a hybrid between a velour and a leather. So you can see that the leather is on the outside perimeter as well as on the inside perimeter, but instead on the top, it is a velour type of ear pad. And yes, you can see that the inside is perforated so you can get some more breathing room out of these. So if you're someone who's looking for something like that, then this is definitely for you. And now my favorite pair of ear pads would be the sheep leather. These things are amazing. They're made from real sheep leather and they are simply nothing short of amazing, awesome, and just ultra comfortable. Right over here, we have the Tascam THMX2. These are a cheap pair of monitor headphones and they have a very long wire. They're pretty good for monitoring. Um, they require a whole lot of power to be pushed to them in order to get some good sound. And the earpads that they came with were pretty much terrible. But after putting on the sheep leather ones on here, they simply became a pretty amazing, nothing short of awesome, headphones. I simply cannot say good enough things about these ear pads right here. Um, they are super ultra comfortable, they feel really premium, and overall the sound that comes out of them becomes nice and warm and just provides a really enjoyable experience. So with that said, what's my favorite headphones and which one is better for comfort, breathing, and uh, sound stage? Well, personally, if you haven't noticed, I really like these leathers. Even though I'm someone who uses these ones on a daily basis, I've enjoyed these leather ones a whole lot. Both the PU leather and the sheepskin, they are just simply amazing. But if you're someone who's inside a hot environment, then you might want to get yourself one of the more breathable ones like these right here, the Velour and the Hybrids. That said, they have another pair of ear pads. Uh, I'll put a list of them right over here. But one of them is actually fully perforated leather. On the inside out, they're all perforated. So it's leather on the outside with a bunch of breathing holes all around the ear pad itself. So with all that being said, here are a couple questions that I could answer for you guys up front. And if you have anything more, let me know in the comment section below and I'll try to answer you as soon as I can. So first of all, in the last videos, a lot of people asking if you can use the Brainwaves ear pads with the Cloud Alphas. And the answer is yes, you can simply pull out the ear pads and replace them like so. Uh, simple and straightforward, nothing crazy, uh, just like the ones right over here. If you're someone who's gaming, what do I recommend? Again, it's going to depend on your environment and what kind of sound profile you're used to or what you like. But for the HyperX, I'd probably recommend either the PU leather for the nice thickness and sound stage or the sheep leather for something a bit more premium, which is going to be super enjoyable. If you're someone who's getting a modern headphones, I think you should definitely go and get the sheep leather. This is going to be an amazing pair to have on if you're monitoring audio all day. And even though these ear pads are pretty much the same price or more than the headphones themselves, the, you got a very amazing package right here. That said, for the price that you're paying for these things, I think it's definitely a worth upgrade because 
in the end you can always take these ear pads and stick them on another pair of headphones now if you're someone who has an open back pair of headphones then i'd probably recommend getting either the hybrids or the velour ear pads just for the sake of having a full open back experience now of course you cannot use these on the hd 598s but if you do end up having a pair of headphones that can actually support these ear pads then definitely get these for open back now a list of the known supported headphones will be in the description below if you guys are interested. Now of course if your pair of headphones is not on the list that does not mean that your headphones are not supported. The easiest way to find out is to simply get your earpads and tug on them and see if you can pull them out. That's actually pretty much it for this video. How I personally would rate these in terms of comfort and enjoyment. I'd probably say the sheep leather is on number one. Number two would be the PU leather. Not only is it pretty comfortable and it's pretty affordable, but they do come in a bunch of different color variants so you can get the flavor that you want for your pair of headphones. Now if I had the perforated leather, I would probably put it in third place, and then maybe these hybrids, and then the velour at last, but that doesn't mean that these are the best. Again, it is all going to depend on you and how your headphones are and what kind of experience you want, what kind of open back, close back, and... Um, how much breathability you would like out of your headphones. That is all for this video. Again, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. So yeah, thank you all for watching and thank you to Brainwaves for sending these in. These are a must have. And once again, I will give them my commando stamp of approval. These are fantastic. Yeah, I cannot recommend them enough if you have a pair of headphones that have some terrible ear pads. I will have links for everything in the description below if you guys are interested. And that is all. So thank you all for watching. Hope you have enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe for content like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, everyone.